everybody! Today is video three of my full face series and today we're doing eyes. I'm gonna do a very simple eye look, like an everyday, go to work, go to school, a simple neutral eye. Before I get into the tutorial, I'm gonna go over some products and brushes. Um, first, I'll do products and your number one step whenever you do your eyes, I always, always, always prime my lid. You can either do it with an eyeshadow primer or your concealer. The eyeshadow primer that I like to use is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is a, it's a clear base, so you put it on your lid and it doesn't have any coverage. It's just simply there to make your eyeshadows more vibrant, to keep them from creasing, and to keep your eyeshadow on all day long. When I use a concealer to prime my lids, it's the one I've told you guys about before. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And like I said before, this one um, has a technology in it that's creaseless. So once I set it with a powder or a, like a skin tone shadow, it doesn't budge on me. And it helps to conceal if I, I'm super tired and my eyelids are darker, it'll help conceal that. Okay, so next I'm going to go over the shadows that I love. And again, I'm going to have the higher end shadows and um, lower end shadows. And with shadows, I have so many, and I would recommend so many. There's so many great brands, and I'm not going to go over all of that, but I'll show you kind of my favorites at the moment. The higher brand that I've been using a lot lately, because I got it, um, I don't know, at the end of last year, and I'm still kind of on it, it's the Urban Decay the Vice 3 palette and it just has a bunch of different colors in it and these shadows I really love. I love Urban Decay shadows. I love Smashbox shadows. Like there's really there's so many brands that I love and especially whenever you walk into Sephora I don't really know of any that I hate <laughs> but that's just me. Okay and for the lower end of the spectrum um, the drugstore that I like to use it's Wet n Wild. It's like one of the cheapest in the drugstore and it's the best. And they, you can get them in like, this comes with the eight colors. You can get them in little trios. They come in singles. There can be a little fallout with these, but they're very pigmented. I never have issues with them staying on. I love them. They come in lots of different colors. And I would check these out if you're looking for, to try some new colors. Especially if you're trying to like dabble in some color. They have great colored eyeshadows that would be fun that you're not going to waste your money on if you're not a fan of the color. My all time favorite eyeshadows right now are the Morphe shadows. And these shadows, I'll link the website below. They're $2 a piece. They are the same size as my MAC shadows. I have tons of dupes for my MAC shadow colors. And they go on the same. I have no problem blending them out. I have no problem getting them to be pigmented. I love them. And they're only $2. Um, and this is this is a palette I have from them. This is one that I, I made this one. I just pick out individual colors. This is a Z palette that I put it in. And this is a small one that I can just like pop in my makeup bag. This is another palette I have from them, which this is all individual shades that I ordered and then just popped them in this palette that I also got from them. And this is one that I use for like um, my clients and stuff. I know some of these colors are crazy, but I do Halloween makeup and stuff like that. But these shadows are super affordable, super pigmented, super blendable. They're super amazing. Okay, on to brushes. And while I'm talking about morphebrushes.com, I'll go ahead and tell you, I love some of their brushes too. I'll link below the brushes that I love the most because they have a bunch of different lines. I know it can kind of get confusing. They have some brushes that are just as good as my higher end brushes. I mostly use a combination between Morphe brushes and Sigma brushes, which what YouTuber doesn't? Okay, these brushes are dirty because I just used them, but I will show you the ones that are like my main brushes for whenever I do my everyday eye look. I know it seems like a lot and you don't really need this many brushes, but if since I have them, I use them. And I'll show you the ones that I think are like a necessity for you to have to complete an eye look and make it a lot easier on your life. I think that probably the most important brush to own is a blending brush, which this one is just a fluffy, um, it's not super dense, it's kind of, it's just, it's just a fluffy blending brush. So this is the one I'm going to take in my crease to blend out all my crease colors. And then I have a brush that's kind of, uh, it's still kind of fluffy, but it's flatter. And again, I know it's dirty, I'm sorry. It's flatter and it, you, it's going to allow you to get into your crease to do a little bit more um, concentrated color. But yet it's not super dense to where you're going to be putting a big blob of black on there. It's still going to allow you to blend it out. So those are two like important crease brushes and then like an all over lid brush is just like a flat shader brush. So you, it's, it's flat, it's kind of dense so it's going to be able to pack color on really well and this one I use to put color all over my lid with. 
Now this brush I use, and it's angled, you don't need it to be angled, but it's just fluffy and not very dense, and I just use it to apply color on my brow bone, just because, I don't know, you could use your shader brush for that too, but I just use that. Um, this giant fluffy brush, I'll just use this to set my primer. So like I said before, whenever you put like a cream colored or a skin tone shadow or powder over your concealer or primer, this is what I do that with because it just gets it done really fast. I just pack a color all over my primer, let it set, and then I do my eyeshadow. Okay, and then these brushes are just like little detail brushes. So this one here, let me set these. Sorry. The, this one here is just a very flat, I don't know if you can see it. It's just super flat. It's for like detail work. So this is what I go in under my lash line with. And then today I just put eyeshadow on my top lid for the liner and this is what I use for that so it's really dense and it just kind of packs color on super easily and then I use this pencil brush here to um, blend out so I'll take like a dark color with this put it on my lo lower lash line and then get like a mid-tone color and put it on this pencil brush and then I blend it with these pencil brushes it's really soft and it's not very dense because you want it to be gentle on your under eye because that's your like really sensitive skin and you want it to be able to blend 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 and then this little tiny like fatter pencil brush I just use it to like put color on my inner corner because it's small and it doesn't really get in the way so those are my um, everyday eyeshadow brushes and like I said I know it's a lot if I was gonna say like top three brushes for you to have would be the three first ones that I mentioned it would be the fluffy blender brush the smaller crease brush and then the flat shader brush because that way I could do pretty much any eyeshadow look with with these three and I'll link these three brushes below and like I said you could get these for probably I don't know like five or six bucks a piece that was all my products and brushes so now let's just get into the tutorial okay so first I'm gonna go ahead and put my Mac Pro Longwear concealer on my lid and I just tap that out with my finger and then I take a brush here in a second and I will smooth that out and then take a beauty blender to make sure I don't have any excess product on the lid. Next I take a skin toned eyeshadow color and I just set that all over that concealer so the concealer doesn't crease and it also gives me a smooth surface to blend my other shadows on top of. Now I'm taking that mid-tone brown on a fluffy blending brush and I'm putting that all in my crease. I'm not trying to be really precise with it. I'm just kind of blowing my whole crease area out to give it some definition and let my other colors transition smoothly. Now I'm taking this darker brown and I'm taking it on a smaller blending brush and I'm putting that right in my socket, my eye socket on my outer corner. I concentrate most of the color on the outer corner so that's where it's darkest at and then I kind of blend it over to the inner corner. I try to keep the outer corner darker and then let it fade gradually into the inner corner. So as soon as you pick up product just go straight to your outer corner and that'll deposit the most product there. Once I kind of get the color where I want it then I'll go back with the fluffier brush and I'll kind of blend make sure there's no harsh lines and everything is smoothly transitioned Now I'm taking my flat shader brush with this like shimmery cream color and I'm putting it all over my lid. I do this color last because it has the shimmer in it and you're, you want your shimmer to stay on your lid. You don't really want the shimmer in your crease. So that's why I do it last so I don't get so messy with it. I keep my matte colors in my crease and then the shimmery colors on my lid. 
and then I'll take my crease brush and kind of blend the edges out so that I don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm gonna take that dark brown color I put in my crease and I'm gonna put it under my lash line, just right on my lash line. So I'm gonna define it. And then once I get that on there, I'm gonna take my pencil brush with the mid-tone brown and I'm gonna blend that out so then it's transitioned smooth and there's no harsh lines and it's not just a dark line under my lash line. Now I'm gonna take that dark color again and I'm just gonna kind of press it into my upper lash line to kind of define and because I'm not going to use a black um, like a liquid eyeliner today I just wanted to use this shadow just to give me a softer definition on my upper lash line now I'm going in with my mascara you guys know how to do mascara just put it on to your likings Okay, to finish the look off, I'm going to take a little bit of this black and I'm going to put it in the very outer corner just to give me a little more definition, just to deepen that outer corner up just a little more. Okay, so there was a simple eye look and in the future I'm gonna do a lot more tutorials so there'll be a lot more in-depth eye looks and there'll be smoky eyes and colored eyes and all that so I just wanted to do a basic eye look just the fundamentals of blending eyeshadows and where to put colors and what brushes to use thank you guys so much for your continued support once again you guys are amazing thank you all for watching and I'll see you next Monday There's a skater on the mirror. Ooh, it's gone. Hey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> People are so sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Raptor Claw. Day three. It's not day three. Mm -mm. This video never started. <laughs> and you can either do it with A. Nope, I don't like the A. <laughs> I was like, A? <laughs> Stupid. Or your concealer. Am I yelling? I think I'm yelling. I was loud. Am I loud? If you have, baby. Oh, shh. Sh <laughs> MW. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There was just an earthquake. I swear, there was an earthquake. That was so crazy. I swear. I was sitting out there. The house shook. Like, I got scared. And then I ran outside, and that's when I was like, Heather. Hold on. Did anyone just feel that earthquake? We had an earthquake. I didn't feel it! I told you! Was that an earthquake? I recommend them. Highly, highly recommend them. And I will link them below. And, um... <laughs> what is happening? Okay. I just, so now if Heather could stop eating Triscuits for three seconds and let me film! Okay. Now that I'm an earthquake survivor, <laughs> some brushes, so now it's time for the two tutorial! <laughs> oh, I, I say super so much. Like I need to have a super count. It's so dumb. So that's a super <laughs> It's like vomit, it just comes out. I don't even, my brain doesn't tell it to, it just happens. Like, mm. mm. well, if you change your mind. Right, I mean, you're, you're so selfish. I knew that would get you. Okay. Next week, bye!